Hello again, Scott here. In this video, I'm going to be doing another Cisco packet tracer. This is 3.5.1.3. It's the Skills Integration Challenge, configuring hosts and services. And very quickly, our intro here, they have created this for us. And basically what we need to do is get another end device on this network and get our Eagle server configured so that we have data transfer and data flow throughout the entire network correctly. So to get started, we will place that end device, generic computer here, and we're going to get it physically connected to that central switch with a copper straight through cable on Ethernet 02. And the next thing we need to do for that computer is to get it configured so that it matches what is currently set up for this network. Um, we do already have one computer on the network, so we can actually use that to help us determine the best configuration for our new device. So we'll open our new device here, and we'll open the existing device. So we can kind of look at them side by side. over to our configuration tab and to start they already have the first one named and we'll just go ahead and follow their naming convention so this will become 1B we can use the same gateway and the same DNS server and then if we check our Ethernet this would be like our IP settings we can use this this a very similar IP address, we will just go one up. We don't want to have identical IP addresses on a network. And it'll auto configure our subnet for us. We just want to make sure that they match to show that we are on the same network. And then we can close these as they have been configured. And our next step is to get this Eagle server physically connected to this network. And so we'll do that with this copper crossover from the server over to the router on Ethernet 00. Once that's done, we do need to go ahead and configure the server to make sure that our services are running properly. We're going to be doing some web browser, so we need HTTP to be turned on, and we'd like to have our DNS service turned on and add this server in as a record on that DNS service. So first I'm going to come back over here and grab our IP address for the server itself and then we will add it in here with this name eagleserver.example.com and we'll go ahead and add that to the DNS records make sure it is on, double check and make sure HTTP is on and that should be properly configured now to join the network and start a little bit of data transfer the first one will fail your second one should go ahead and succeed if you want you can delete that go into your simulation mode for your simulation panel and you can run one more just to see the route that your packets will take to reach the server and return and you can open any of these to take a look at the specific layer events at each step. Alright, and that is really all that this packet tracer consists of, so I will see you in my next video.